spiny shrub called Devil's Club. And the Latin name for this one is Oplopanax horribus. And the horribus part is because it is covered in really intense spines all over the stems and on the bottom of the leaves. They're about a centimeter long, and if you get them embedded in your skin, they'll fester. Not very pleasant. This is a relative of ginseng, and it grows from one to three meters tall, so it's really big, and it was one of the most important medicinal plants in the Pacific Northwest. It was used to treat a whole range of things, from arthritis, cancer, diabetes, diphtheria, fever, flu, heart disease, lice, measles, pneumonia, and stomach trouble. Lots of uses. It has hypoglycemic, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. So if we look at it, you can identify it. The stem is long and crooked and almost unbranched, and it's covered in these really intense spikes. The leaves look kind of like maple leaves, but they have seven to nine points, and the leaves are huge, and it's stealing my bandana. <laughs> <laughs> When the flowers form, they're small, whitish, numerous, and they're arranged in pyramidal terminal clusters. And what that means is the cluster of flowers looks kind of like a cone on the end of a stick. When these flowers turn into fruit, the berries are bright red and shiny and kind of flattened in shape. And bears think they're really tasty, but they're not edible to humans. But one of the cool uses for the berries is that indigenous people would mash them up and rub them in their hair, kind of like shampoo, and this would be a treatment for lice or to get rid of dandruff. The part that was used medicinally most often was the roots and the green inner bark of the stems. And this was made into a tea or used in steam baths or poultices. In addition to being medicinally significant, this plant was also spiritually significant. The sticks were used as protective charms against evil influences, and the burned charcoal of the sticks uh, was combined with bear grease and used as face paint for dancers and rituals. It was also used for purification of a house following a death in the family. It has practical uses as well. Uh, the wood of the stems is light colored and lightweight, and it was used to carve fishing lures. The bark of the plant was pulverized and used as a deodorant, and I've saved the best for last. The Haida also believed that this plant brought luck and gambling. So if you're a card shark, this is your plant. It was one of the most important medicinal plants in the Pacific Northwest. It was used to treat a whole range of... Oh my God. <laughs>